Hello my dear friends welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to solve one quartic equation for real and complex solutions. So our given equation is x square plus 3x plus 2 times 9x square minus 15x plus 4 equal to 78. So let's get started. I will write our equation x square plus 3x. So I can split 3x as x plus 2x plus 2. Then I can write here 9x square minus 15x. I will write minus 12x minus 3x plus 4 equal to 78. Now I can take x common from here, 2 common from here. So x is common in bracket x plus 1. 2 is common in bracket we will get x plus 1. In other bracket, we will take 3x common from first two terms. So in bracket we will get 3x minus 4. From last two we will take negative 1 common. So we will be getting 3x minus 4 once again. And right hand side is 78. Now x plus 1, x plus 1, 3x minus 4, 3x minus 4. Let's take common. So x plus 1 times x plus 2, 3x minus 4 times 3x minus 1 equal to 78. Now I will take these two terms all together so that we can multiply and then we will consider these two as a multiplier brackets. Let me write here x plus 1 times 3x minus 1 x plus 2 times 3x minus 4 equal to 78. Let's multiply these two first. So x times 3x, 3x is square, x times negative 1 minus x plus 3x. So we will be getting plus 2x, 1 times negative 1, negative 1 x times 3x, 3x is square, minus 4x plus 6x, again plus 2x, 2 times negative 4, negative 8, equal to 78. Now you can see we have 3x is square plus 2x, 3x is square plus 2x. Let us say this is a. Then we will be having our equation in a as a minus 1 times a minus 8 equal to 78. So let me write here 3x square plus 2x equal to a. So we can write equation a minus 1 times a minus 8 equal to 78. Let's multiply. We will get a square minus 8a minus a so minus 9a minus 1 minus 8 so plus 8 equal to 78 now take all the terms to lhs so a square minus 9a plus 8 minus 78 equal to 0 or we'll be writing a square minus 9a minus 70 equal to 0 now equation is quadratic, we can use factorization method this time. So let us factor 70 as, I can see 14 times 5 and if I will subtract 5 from 14, we will be having 9. So let me write here, the split of minus 9a, we can write minus 14a plus 5a. Minus 70 equal to 0. Now from first two terms a is looking common a minus 14 from last two 5 a is common in bracket we will get a minus 14 equal to 0. Now a minus 14 is overall common. So we will get other factor a plus 5 equal to 0. So from here I can write two equations either a minus 14 will be equal to 0 or a plus 5 will be equal to 0. So from first equation I can get a equal to 14. 
and from second equation we can write a equal to negative 5 14 and negative 5 and a is 3x square plus 2x let's put the values so i will frame two equation 3x square plus 2x equal to 14 and second equation we can write 3x square plus 2x equal to negative 5. Take all the terms to LHS for the first quadratic equation. We will write 3x square plus 2x minus 14 equal to 0. Now equation is quadratic, I will use quadratic formula. Let me write here formula once x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times a times c over 2 times a. Here a is coefficient of x square 3, b is coefficient of x so 2, c is constant so negative 14. Let's apply all the values. So I will write minus 2 plus minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 3 times minus 14 over 2 times 3. So I will write minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 plus 12 times 14. This will give us 168 over 6. So I can write minus 2 plus minus square root of 172 over 6. Now we can factor 172 as 43 times 4. So I will write minus 2 plus minus square root of 43 times 4 over 6. This is equal to x. Now this 4 will come out from this square root as 2. So minus 2 plus minus 2 times square root of 43 over 6. Now we can divide numerator denominator by 2 and get minus 1 plus minus square root of 43 over 3. So both solutions are real in this case. Let us take the second quadratic equation. Equation was 3x square plus 2x equal to negative 5. Now we will take all the terms to one side. We will get 3x square plus 2x plus 5 equal to 0. Let's use quadratic formula once again. x will be equal to minus b, so minus 2, plus minus square root of b square, so 2 square, minus 4 times a is 3, c is 5, over 2 times a, a is 3. So we can write denominator 6. So x will be equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 12 times 5, 60 over 6. Or I can write minus 2 plus minus square root of minus 56 over 6. This we can write minus 2 plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 56 over 6. Now we know that square root of minus 1 is complex number i. So I can write minus 2 plus minus i square root 56 over 6. Let me write here minus 2 plus minus i square root of 56 over 6. So this time we are going to get complex solutions. This will be equal to minus 2 plus minus i times square root 56. We can write square root 14 times square root 4 
over 6. Now square root 4 is 2. So minus 2 plus minus 2i is square root 14 over 6. Let's divide our numerator denominator by 2. We will get minus 1 plus minus i is square root 14 over 3. So two solutions are real and two are complex value. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.